Uh, next item on our agenda is the grading recommendation from the administrative staff. And Dr. Furman is going to make that presentation. And if you have a document in front of you that has been discussed with the administrative team, and Dr. Furman, if you come forward, please. Okay, first of all, I want to echo Mr. Bennett and Ms. Nee Johnson's comments. Thank you to each and every one of you for the time, the endless hours that you spend, the hard work, your dedication to make Covington City Public Schools not only a better place for our students, but also for our staff. And Ms. Bennett and Ms. Callison, thank you for your time and your efforts. And we wish you well, and I'm sure we'll see more of you. So thank you. Uh, the grading scale, as Ms. St. Johnson mentioned, you have in front of you, and we did meet principals, myself and Ms. Nee Johnson, to discuss um, the grading scale. And it is our desire at this time to remain on the same grading scale all three schools because we feel that we have several initiatives that we are pursuing that we will be required to do this year. Um, the block schedule at the high school, we have profile of the junior graduate, the incoming class, freshman class 2018, we have performance-based assessments, work-based learning uh, requirements, initiatives. And also, we feel that the instructional staff, that it's paramount for them to focus on their lesson plans, on their assessments, to make sure that we analyze our data and that we get the desired learning outcomes and the achievement is met as we hope it will be at the end of next year. In addition, we would like for you all to consider changing the scale for a few courses, Jackson River Governor School courses and Advanced Placement courses, College Board courses. And that scale currently, for those courses, it's weighted internally so the teachers actually add seven points to the course, but we would like to see that that go to a quality point scale, which would affect the GPA if a student would earn an A, he or she would have five quality points as opposed to four. And the reason that's important if, um, let's say a student has a 95 in AP English. If that's an A, so that's four quality points, seven points will be added, that's 102, it's still an A. So the GPA remains the same where the five quality points would reward the student for taking a more rigorous and challenging level course. And that would be the same at Jackson River Governor School. So I'm happy the recommendation is to start this in the coming school year? Yes, okay. just for the, the Jackson River courses, Jackson River Governor School courses and the okay. advanced placement advanced college placement course courses. Okay. Yes. All right, any questions? We would appreciate a motion. A motion to I'll accept. make a motion to Thank you. approve this plan. I'll second. All right. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 aye.